Hello? Yes, come on. Hi, my name is Carrie. Let me just get some hand sanitizer. Hi, Carrie. I'm here, I'm gonna do an EKG. Okay. Dr. Agarwal wants to see what's going on with your heart. Have you ever had an EKG before? No, I haven't. Okay, so it's easy, non-invasive. You're not gonna feel anything. I'm just gonna put a bunch of stickers on your body, one on each leg, one on each arm, and a few on your chest, and it's gonna give me a picture of what your heart's doing. Okay. Is it okay with you if I do an EKG? Absolutely. Excellent. So your part in this is very minimal, but you do have to keep your legs uncrossed, and you have to keep your arms down by your side. I'm gonna check your armband. What's your birth date? 7 Excellent. We have the right person. Are you allergic to adhesives at all? Um, I get a little irritated by them, but they won't be on that long, right? We will take them off the moment that we're done. Perfect. Excellent. So the EKG leads are kept in this front pocket, and we only open one package at a time so that they don't get dried out. Oh, nice. Kind of a good idea, right? All right. So the two for your arms, pretty much anywhere on your arms is okay. The two for your legs, again, pretty much anywhere is okay. And then the more important parts are on your chest. So we want to count down to the fourth intercostal space. So four ribs down, and then in between four and five is where we're going to put our leads one and two, okay. just a little bit below the breast, okay? I'm gonna expose your belly just a little bit, but 100% maintain your modesty. Oh, you're blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's my natural color. So pretty. Intercostal space. Do you want me to unsnap this? Nope, you're good, okay. you're good. At the fourth intercostal space, and then the third one is going to go mid chest, so nipple line on the left side. So we have three leads left. We want to take the three leads, put one directly under the arm, and then split the difference with the last two. So the Count will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm. To get the machine to work and record the individual's EKG, you power on. Ninety percent of our EKGs at Jupiter Medical Center are equipped with a scanner. So use the scanner button. You'll hit patient data and then you will scan the patient. If you do it correctly, you will hear a ding. If you do it incorrectly, you will hear a buzz. Once you have successfully scanned your patient, you'll confirm that the data on the screen matches the data on the patient's wristband. If you're unable to scan the patient's wristband, you can enter the data manually. The next part is the most important part, and that is putting the EKG leads attached to the right part of their body. So we call it a 12 lead, but it's really only five, I'm sorry, really only 10 stickers. So left leg, left arm. Does it say it on those wires? It does, let me show you, Mrs. Little. Excellent question. So now we're gonna do four, five, six.
Inhale as old as time, try to keep these untangled. Now we're gonna do right leg, right arm, and then one, two, and three. So one, two, three. And if you have the problem I just had, so my limb lead will not stay connected, you can move it up as long as it is somewhere on their limb. I have long legs, that probably doesn't help. Exactly. To ensure the best quality of a tracing, the patient needs to be as flat as they can tolerate. If it is somebody that cannot tolerate being flat at all and needs to stay sitting up, that's okay. But you will get a better quality tracing if the person is able to stay flat. You will also get a better quality tracing if they keep their arms by their side and they're calm. And they're normally calm if you just talk them through it. Once you have your leads all attached, your EKG has um, green, yellow, red, and green when you get to the green light, you know that the tracing is adequate for interpretation to capture an EKG. You will hit EKG twice. It will generate a report that is two EKGs long. You will bring one to the physician or contact the physician that ordered the EKG if it is stat, if it is routine, and within normal limits. You will put it in the chart and document it as being done in Cerner. So we've got our EKG. Mrs. Little, your EKG looks wonderful, I'm happy to say. Okay. I'm gonna take these leads off. So you take the leads off first. You should never tug and pull the leads and the stickers off together, especially on our older population folks. You will take all of their skin with you. So once you have all the leads disconnected, you'll take all of the stickers off. Do not leave the stickers on the human. They become like glue. So you take all the stickers off. You put the patient back together again, ask them, Mrs. Little, do you need anything before I go? No, I'm okay, thank you. All right, ma'am, I am gonna show this to the physician and one of, either myself or one of my colleagues will be back within the hour. Make sure you're doing okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. When we leave the room with our EKG, it is our responsibility to clean the EKG. Gray top wipes for our, the scanner, for the box, for all the leads, for the handles, for the keyboard, for the top. And that concludes our EKG.